Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Due to the popularity of some of the videos that I have on face yoga and how to tighten and lift parts of the face or tone the muscles under the skin and lift parts of the face, today I'm gonna to be talking about how to tighten and lift and give yourself a more defined jawline and this works for ladies and it works for the guys and if you watched any of my other facial exercise videos and looked at the comments you know how well they work now if you're new to my channel and don't know who the heck i am i'm chris gibson i'm a skincare expert i've been doing this stuff for 36 years helping people find skincare that will work for them not empty their wallets and not do them or you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. First thing out of the box, you want to be dressed comfortably. You can do these exercises any time of day. You can do them in the office, but I take a little more formal approach to my facial exercise and workouts. That's just me. You do you, boo, however it works for you. But I promise you these three exercises that take less than five minutes to do will start to give you results within one to three days. And you can see that it's true by looking at the comments again in some of the other videos that I have on facial exercises. And if you haven't seen them, don't worry. I will put links down below in the video description box so you can find them when we're done here today. Now, the first exercise is perhaps the most famous one from the channel. It is one that my grandmother used and I'm 59 so that I can tell you how long ago this was from a yoga instructor in the 1920s. And the exercise is one I've been practicing myself since my early 20s. Now, my goal back then as a guy was to have that very defined jawline, but these days I do it just to maintain the look and shape of my face. Now, this particular yoga neck and jaw lift exercises involves your swallowing muscles. So let's take a second and swallow. You can feel it's these two muscles right here on either side of the voice box that go down into the neck that tighten to help us move food and liquids down. These are the primary muscles used in this. We don't wanna stretch the outer skin, but you will feel a stretch in the muscles underneath. First, you wanna make sure you're sitting upright with your shoulders straight, and you want to pull in those muscles as you look toward the ceiling with your chin. Now, it's a little difficult to talk while I'm doing this particular exercise, so you wanna hold this exercise for a count of 10. But again, as I said, it's very simple. And then you wanna relax. So the idea here is to get 10 to 15 seconds of stretch for that. You will feel it. It will take you a little bit of practice and then you'll have it down. It's really quite simple, but it's very effective at pulling all of this in and working those muscles just under the jawline to lift that neck skin and give that defined line right along the jaw. Now we just did the forward looking version of this exercise, but we're also gonna do left and right just over the shoulder. So same thing. and then relax, and then. And then relax. So when you begin doing this exercise, you wanna start easy, cause we don't wanna make those muscles too sore, and you would do five forward, five left, five right, and then you would be done with that. And again, you can do these every day. They're very simple, but they are extremely, extremely effective. This next exercise is odd looking as well, but it's very effective. It's called a chin up, not the chin up that you think of in workouts, but you're gonna see how well this works to lift the face and chin muscles. Now with your mouth closed, you're gonna push your lower jaw out while lifting your lower lip upward. And you're gonna feel the pull of those muscles just underneath the jawbone. You're gonna hold this position for 10 to 15 seconds, just like the other one that we did. A count of 10 will usually get you there. And just like the first exercise, the first few days, I would do it just five times. Then you can build from there to sets of three to 15 when you get more used to these exercises. So let's do this one. It kind of reminds me of clucking like a chicken a little bit. So shoulders straight, feet flat on the floor, and relax, do it again, and relax. And I wanna to turn to the side so you guys kinda of see how this looks from the side, cause it'll give you a better idea of how it works. And again, you would hold those longer than I'm doing it. I'm just doing this for demonstration. 
15 seconds is what you're shooting for. That's usually again a count of 10. So we've done the yoga neck and jaw lift. We've done the chin up and now we're going to do the collarbone back up. This one could actually be done standing, seated, or laying on your back, but basically it is moving the entire neck forward and then backward. So again, we wanna be very gentle and not do a bunch of repetitions in the beginning because we're using muscles that a lot of us don't normally use. And we don't wanna overwork them and have them be sore because there's nothing worse than sore neck muscles, I promise you. So go slow, be very easy with yourself and build up your tolerance for these exercises and they can do wonders. So let's do this one again. It sort of looks like clucking like a chicken, but we're not gonna use the lip and it's much more of a severe back and forth. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do it forward toward the camera, then I'll do it to the side so you can actually get the idea. But they are somewhat similar, but they're using different muscles. So we're gonna sit up straight look forward and then we're going to pull our head back as far as we can till we feel the tension in those muscles under the jawline down the neck and then we're going to move forward the same way as far as we can and hold that hold that for about three or four seconds and then back three or four seconds and then forward three or four seconds and then back three or four seconds and i promise you even though this exercise looks a little bit like the other one you will feel a complete different set of muscles being used so let's do it from the side just so you guys can see how, how just so you guys can see how stupid i look doing this exercise even though it really works really really well so again shoulders straight relaxed back forward back forward and all of these muscles right here are being used back behind the ears these muscles too which help do this pull all of that back and up so again back forward those three exercises done daily together less than five minutes I promise you, you will see a difference in the way your jawline looks. For you guys, you're gonna to start to see that really nice definition that I still have in my jaw at 59 years old. I have a jawline. Ladies, it's gonna do wonders for our double chin and sagging skin under the jaws. If you do decide to use these exercises, please come back to the video and let us know how they're working for you. And again, I will link to and put links below in the video description box for the original videos that have the whole set of facial exercises, neck exercises, jaw exercises, so that you can check those out as well for more ways to roll back the clock on neck face and under the chin aging watch this video that's coming up next thank you guys so much for watching my channel and supporting me i appreciate you guys stay beautiful subscribe if you haven't and i will see you over on that next video